Hi, my name is Vladimir Navarro and I am an application engineer at Keysight Technologies. On the screen we see a yellow signal which is a 100 kilohertz signal from an 81160A and a green signal from an 81150A pattern generators. The green signal is the inverted output of the 81150. So I'm going to create a inverted function using the math functions on the oscilloscope I'm going to invert channel 2 so we can see the real signal that is going into the 81160A which is the signal that is modulating the frequency. I'm going to change the time base to 10 microseconds so we can look at the output of the 81160 signal. I need to turn on channel 1 again so we can see the yellow trace on the signal and I'm going to center the delay for the trigger at 0 seconds. Uh, right now we are going to uh, look at the movement of the ramp and uh, I'm going to turn on channel 1 so we can take a look at the output of the 81160A that is being modulated by this signal. Uh, to do that I just go to setup and select channel 1 and uh, turn it on on the screen. Now we can see how the frequency is being modified by the movement of the signal. The signal is swinging between minus 1.3 and plus 1.3 volts approximately. And uh, we can look at the frequency measurements uh, on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to do measurements on the output of the 81160. And uh, as you can see, the frequency is moving uh, from uh, approximately 50 kilohertz to 150 kilohertz. Um, right now I turn off the channel 2 signal which is the inverted output of the 81150 so we can see the modulated signal going into the 81160 and its effects on the output of the generator. Um, I hope that this is helpful and you can see how easy it is to use the 81160 as a VCO device. Thanks for watching.